Hey there, welcome back. Today I decided to take another attempt at uh, playing the ground game, and I'm dusting off my tier 4 LBSH Premium GA from the Soviet Union, sporting a very non historical paint job. And it's going to be interesting, to say the least. So I'm not very good at the way that these new ground targets are, so I'm still experiencing the whole learning curve of uh, trying to be more proficient and efficient at doing them. Pilot, once again, my uh, IL-40P pilot, which has got a whack load of skills. Rear gunner, because, yeah, if you got it, put in the best. Plane itself, because it's a premium, it's not upgradable. However, we do have some decent bombs, a decent rear turret, and decent forward firing weapons. Turret stabilization because you want to reach out and touch everybody you possibly can that wants to take you out of the sky. Reinforced airframe and concealing livery. Now I really don't know if this works and I've been saying that in probably the last few videos that have to do with any kind of ground attack action but maybe it's an old habit that I need to break myself of and actually put in something good. Do you have a suggestion? Leave in the comment section below. Let's go. The LBSH was one of the first aircraft I ever experimented with going air to air and try and take out obviously aerial targets. The 20 millimeters back in the day were a real hard hitting, far reaching uh, option for that exercise. It was still stiff and cumbersome to try and do maneuvers. It could turn slow, but it was able to do a stable turn, if that makes any sense. It was almost like it was a slow motion hanging on the air with its wings as knife edges. It's kind of hard to explain. <clears throat> but uh, it was the first time I experienced something as a very heavy fighter, and it worked out rather well for me in the past. Let's see if... Uh, Ooh. Let's see how well it holds up in this post 2.0 era. Attention! You are entering the combat zone. Get ready for battle. Good luck. Snowy background and that polished aluminum looks really sharp. So we have one, two, three, four, four on four. Let's go with that. Four on four. I already know where I'm going. You are approaching the front line. Off we go. Oh, the Death Star Trench. I have to, just just for old time's sake. Win, lose, or draw, I have to go down in here. I remember he used to have a really shaped, uh, funny shaped, uh, yeah. If you can find some old screenshots of that, yeah, definitely check it out. There's an ice cropping that kind of hooked over the top and it had a very uh, <laughs> interesting shape for those of you that have interpretive lines.
shorter work of uh, these targets, but I'm using standard because, you know, I'm cheap and I like to make money. Go figure. Wow, really? Just do not want to. want to fall. Is that the aircraft guy? Get away! Ah, oh, this is not working out nearly as well as I'd hoped. But like I said, I have not experienced how to do this in here. Huh? Probably could have got them now, but that's fine. Probably could have had a much better uh, run on that one, but is he like following me? Is that so loud all of a sudden? Like ears? Okay. Oops, let's creep up over this way. Uh, see, I just saw a red blink. What are you? The enemy is concentrating near the plant. Be extremely careful. Now it's funny. I was just making claims about, yeah, first time I went air to air, blah, blah, blah. I used this plane, and what am I doing? Traditional GA roll. Nothing wrong with that. I am a little rusty when it comes to it. So let's, uh... Make up for this changes. Okay. anything that went right in front of me. Not so much this time. Really? Big ball turret? I can't hit him? I can't hit him? Only English don't fail me now. Oh, that's 
good. Alright, what here is nearly done. Satahuban or a bot or a go there. I think I have a pretty good idea where you're going to go. No, maybe not. And we'll just give you a few club taps. We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Over. I copy. Thank you. How are we looking team-wise? Actually, we're looking pretty good. Yeah, this thing seems to lose a lot of speed. But I mean, it is designed to go against ground targets, but... Still. Victory is in sight! Keep it up! Oh, did he just side up and die on me? Okay, let's go. Let's go over here and see what we can see. Today. Nice, we'll be waiting eh? for you back home. What did I get out of that? I got flying start, rear cover, obviously, avalanche, self defense master, uh, grade five. Here's me in grade five, baby. No. Pushkin award for destroying at least 300 air defense aircraft. I know I mispronounced that, but that's okay. It's my game. I'll do what I want. Not really, but... The black screen as it's doing all the little math calculations. This is what we want your screens to look like. Unless, of course, it just kicked me from the game. Oh, uploading. Updating. Loading. Thinking, contemplating, reviewing, reflecting. There we are. Actually, it looks pretty good. Ooh, that was really kind of like wonky there. So yeah, a whole whack load of stuff. Credit-wise, what did I get out of that for a tier 4? Mind you, I'm also running a premium account for a day. Literally, log in, win a battle, get a premium account for, well, 23 hours now, but that's okay. Oh, not bad, not bad. Score-wise, number two. Of course, a fighter would do better than me, but... So there's a small taste of the LBSH, a Tier 4 premium Soviet ground attack aircraft. I would recommend it. I would. If you had to buy a low tier credit maker that wasn't fighter, heavy fighter, multi role, bomber, this would be the way to go, in my opinion. Durable, fairly versatile, and it can pack a real surprise on somebody who is not expecting this thing to go air to air. And you get really decent coverage out of that ball turret in the back. As long as you've got the skilled gunner to go with it. 
So if you like this video, by all means, give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments in the section below. If you didn't like what you saw, you got some tips on things I should have done differently. And yeah, I know, I didn't really plan out attack runs. I'm still kind of experimenting with how ground targets are laid out. How to prioritize the proper targets in a proper order. Leave that constructive criticism below too, and I will have a look at it, review it, and plan that advice as part of my tactics and strategy my next adventure should I take the LBSH out again. Until next time, take care.